Hi, it's Sue from Create for Journals and we're going to take a look at the December 2022 monthly inspiration template pack and this is content that you want to get into your stores for January. So the one that I'm going to go over today is just based on National Blood Donor Month which is in January and this is just a look at the templates that you get inside. Um, and then I'll give you some ideas of how you can use this, where, how you can on, incorporate this into some other uh, planners and journals. And I'll give you a couple of search terms on Etsy that are doing pretty well for um, where you could put this content in as well. So the first thing as we normally do is we just come in here and we go to the selection pane. So for that, make sure you're on the home tab, under editing, click, click select, then selection pane, and then this is all the selection um, layers that will come up. So these are all the different elements. You can see we've got groups of elements, we've got text boxes, freeform shapes, text pictures, pictures, tables. So what I like to do is just kind of come down to the bottom and then just start putting the elements back in. So again, you've got a nice background page. We can use this for cover pages, divided pages, um, you know, and if you wanted a full background, you could just um, enlarge this all the way to the edge if you want to cover, have no white space around it. Depends on how you are, where you're going to publish this or, or sell it. And then you can just see then we put in the rounded corner. And again, you can come in here, you can change the corners um, here to make them more rounded or put them, have them the way they were. You can change the color of the page and the transparency. And every time that you click on one of these elements, you'll see at the top here, uh, the shape format was highlighted. So you click on that. This gives you all the options of what you can do with this. So if you wanted to fill it in a different color, so we can change the color of the page by just selecting the different colors in here. And then we go up to the picture. So again, we've, this is the picture. Click on this picture format at the top comes up and then you'll go to color. And then you'll see all the different color options that we have. So these are the color saturations and tones at the top. So you can just change the intensity up there. Now the ones under recolor, these are all shown depending on what color theme you are using with your uh, template. So we're using this violet one, so we get all of these different colors here. But if we were to come over and go to something different, we'll just go to a different color for now. So if we go to yellow and then you come back to the picture format. Now we've got yellows and oranges on here. So that's how you get the different colors inside here. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it back. And there we go. And then we'll just keep going. So we've got a table in here. So this is a table. So you can come in, edit it again, highlight it. Up to the top it says table. You can change the shading colors if you want to. You can have the whole thing colored in. So we like that. And then, um, so, so one thing to know is if you just want the sides or these headers changed, you wanna make sure you have your mouse in that section and then you can come in and change it. So over here too, you'd have to highlight all those and then you can change the color that way as well. So that's how you can change the color. You might wanna have a lighter, darker color so it's uh, more defined. So you can have um, things like that in there. And if you don't like anything, just come to home, go to the undo button and it puts everything back Oops. the way you had it. There we go. There we go. And again, if you wanted to make this bigger, you can just pull it all and it's gonna make it bigger. So if you wanted this on one page, um, you can do that as well. Let's just undo it there. And then you just keep going through all the different elements, the text, text boxes here. Now you've got a heart in here. So we've got a heart with the text on it in here. So this is grouped. So to ungroup it, you would just come to group and then ungroup it. And then you can take out the text. You could just save the heart as an image. And then you could save this heart as an image or even the basics of this page and use it for Valentine's. The same colors, same heart, and just make a different type of Valentine, type of uh, printable out of this one too. And then we go to the next group. These are the little blood droplets. And again, you could, you know, you could keep all of these things. You know, you can save these. If you take out the text, you could 
just save as a picture onto your computer and then you've got these elements that you can just pop back in. Once this is saved as a picture, just remember that you can't change the color. So um, you might wanna either just copy the shape and have um, like a master template with all the different shapes in there or if you save as an image, just remember you can't. You can recolorize the image but you won't be able to edit it as a shape anymore. So we put the text back in there and then you just keep going and then we've got more of them there, text box. Right. And then the second page that we did for you is, this is about um, a blood drive. So it's got date, the dates, the time, location, organizer, email, contact info. So this is a nice basic table, again, that we could use inside of here. We could um, use it in different planners as well. So just by changing all these headings, you could make this into something different, a planning, a business planner, a health planner, a different kind of tracker. You might want to make like different health related trackers to go with this pack. Um, that would probably sell quite well as well. And again, if you just click on it, you've got the table options up here. And again, we can just highlight the entire column, go to shading, and then select whichever color that you wanted it to be. And you can do different colors if you wanted to. So we could change everything to blue if we wanted to. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you was um, if you wanted to, you know, add, uh, if you want to add or delete um, the rows in here instead of starting from scratch, what you'd want to do, so say we want to um, make the email field bigger. So you highlight it, do a right click, and then you go into merge the cells, and this takes the two into one row. So you might want to do that here. You may want to leave one split and then merge another one. So this can give you different effects for your tables as well, and then it's easier than starting from scratch and building a whole new table. And in the same thing here, if you wanted to put it back, you split the cells. We want two columns in one row. So you go OK and it splits it. And then you just have to move that marker and then come to table design. And on the borders, we just want to remove that outside border. And then we want to put the right border because now if you look here, we've lost that size and put the right one back in. And sometimes you have to click it twice to make it work. And now we have it back in there and then we just have to thicken it up a little bit as well. Okay. And it's in and whatever you to do there we can just let's move that again there we go so now we've got it all fixed there again the, the back key is your friend if you or undo key is your friend if you make a mistake you just undo it and then go back and fix it again and again we can hide the elements um, you've got the back page again covers dividers um, even use this for social media posts just put it inside a smaller um, template and then um, put them in there and, and with this pack you do get social media um, files so if you wanted to make something just for this you could take this background and put it over there as well and then we've got the page again and text and then you've got the table like I said you can change this table to anything you want um, just by adding removing columns and just changing the titles and then you've got ready to go tables without having to start from scratch every single time and then we've got the graphic at the top and then a text back box that we put on the bottom here and then the next page is a blood donation log and again this is just a simple log page with a table again you can click on this to edit it up to table design change colors you know, uh, whatever you want to do, but just remember when you just want sections change, you need to go with your mouse and just take that one row and then go in and change the color. So then you can change it to whichever color you would like here. Oh, and then you can change fonts. Remember, changing fonts makes your template look different. You can change out some of these um, pictures if you would like to. And then what I did with this one, I just turned this into a family 
blog, blog so I just duplicate the page and then I just went in and I just changed the title uh, the the headings and now this was two rows as you can see down the bottom so I went through and I just merged everything and I'll show you how to do that again so we just merged the cells and it just automatically puts them into one row so you can do that and then if you wanted to adjust the width so say we want no, actually, we, yeah, so we want a bit more for the notes and we don't need as much for the actual blood type because that's usually just a letter. So we can just change the width as simple as that and it changes everything for you. And again, you could just come in here and you no, know, you could just add some like note pages. So this would make a nice note page if you wanted to add some lines in here, you could do that. Um, you've got the text up there. And then you can change the image as well. Click on it, picture format, and then it's just change the picture or come in here and recolor it with some different colors, add artistic effects that sometimes can give you a different look. Um, so you just click on all of these. That's a glassy look. You can see that it changed there. This one gives you a bit like plasticky wrap. So this sometimes can be fun to play with just to give you a little bit of a different look um, on your template. And then we've got the table again. And again, you can just, you know, you could copy this, paste it into different templates. Um, you know, sometimes, you, and I think I mentioned it once before, you may just want to even um, just have a master template file that you just keep all these elements in there. And then you can just come and copy and paste them, or you can use the reuse feature, which I'll show you in a second, and bring them into a new uh, template every single time. And you've got the graphics and the text and the other graphic. Yeah, so to find the reuse feature, so home tab, and then it's on the ribbon here, reuse slide. So you would just go and browse whichever slide that you wanted to, you know, that you've got on your computer. And I just, actually, let me just bring one here. So this is one that I opened before. And then uh, if this was like a master template, this would probably all be like just black and white. And then you just basically, you just click on one of these and it will bring it over into your new um, template as well. Now the one thing, because you'll see here that there was a background there, so this one didn't bring the background. To bring it over at the bottom here, uh, my bottom right, it says keep source formatting, so check that. Now we'll do it again and you'll see this time the background came with it as well. So that's how you, if you want to keep the graphics in the background, that's what you want to make sure that you do as well there. And then the final thing I wanted to go over, I just kind of brainstormed some ideas of how you could use these templates. So some of the things you could create as you know, just a basic blood donor journal or printable uh, set, you could turn this into like family blood records. So you could have pages of people's names, maybe some other medical stuff on there, as well as their blood types. Uh, you could put this inside medical trackers, nurse journal, planners, printables, um, even family health planners, records, family history. Um, and then you could, you know, put this in towards um, like specific medical conditions, maybe like arthritis, people with arthritis and they want to make sure, you know, they have the blood check, they can, you know, and just how often they go, any, um, you know, any concerns that come up from each visit. So it's more like a medical journal, but you could create lots of those with this type of content as well. And the same applies to, you know, creating something with a chronic illness. Um, and then caregivers is pretty good um, item for this as well. So, you know, for a caregiver, they would need to know the blood information of somebody. So you could put this in there with lots of other different printables as well. So it makes a whole um, caregiver package. And then I just did some really quick research on Etsy and I found that the family medical history, the senior caregiver and printable medical binder, they're all search for terms on Etsy. They don't have a ton, a ton of a competition. So if you create some packs with these names in it um, and use it in your tags and your description, hopefully this would get you into the um, It'd be good for SEO and get your and get your store shown and hopefully would get you some sales as well. So I just wanted to add that in there this month as well. So hopefully that's given you some ideas of what to use. And remember, you get five of these templates in each pack every single month as well with journal prompts, um, event days, 
um, editable calendars, some social media templates as well. So you get a whole bundle of stuff and, um, and just make sure that you, if you're not a member and you want to join, this is one of the ones that you're going to get in the December uh, 2022 pack. And um, if you have any other questions, just please let me know. Thank you.